All right, hello everybody and welcome back to TMG Trades, the best cryptocurrency channel on the entire internet. And today, of course, we're discussing the price of Bitcoin and how I expect it will perform over the next 24, 48 hour period. Yesterday, we were pretty much bang on with our kind of synopsis on what we expected to happen. I said, look, Bitcoin could potentially have a fake out to the downside. We actually had a fake out to the downside, trapping short positions at approximately $16,400 to $16,200 as Bitcoin's price headed to the downside very swiftly at around 10 p.m. yesterday. You can see that on the chart right here where the price of Bitcoin dipped below the level of support and swiftly bounced back up above it. But what are we expecting from Bitcoin's price over the next kind of couple of days? Are we expecting more bearish action? Are we expecting to lose that level of support again? Or are we expecting a bounce to the upside? Well, that is what I aim to be able to explain to you in this video. So slap our icon it, subscribe, and there, uh, let's crack on. So first things first, this is the one hour chart, but I don't want to start out with the one hour chart. I actually want to start out with the daily chart and some analysis on the daily chart, because of course, it's important to point out where we are within this bear market. Now, being that Bitcoin's price has gone down pretty much non-stop since we hit $69,000, it's just been down, down, more down. Where is Bitcoin? And, and what are we expecting from this? Well, it's important to point out that actually we've got these three points here. They're actually displaying a bit of a bullish divergence, being that we have a rising RSI down here and a falling price. Now, we've got those three points. That's what you need to confirm that bearish uh, bullish divergence. And that's what we've kind of got right now. I've drawn the support and resistance levels on this chart, for which if we were to break out above this range right here, in fact, I could add a little bit more detail to this chart, being that if we were to break essentially above where I've just drawn this green line, where we faked out above it, um, if I line to be honest can come down just a little bit more but there you get the point if bitcoin is essentially to break above this level right here around seventeen thousand two hundred dollars this would be if we break above seventeen thousand two hundred that should take us back up to this red line which is around nineteen thousand dollars at the point where bitcoin is breaking back above that nineteen thousand dollar level i get very very bullish very very quickly um i'm not currently incredibly bullish i know that a lot of people accuse me of being incredibly bullish all of the time I'm not incredibly bullish on Bitcoin right now. I think that Bitcoin is at the bottom, um, but who knows how long a bottom can last? You can have a very long period of sideways trading. And it's important to point out that within this range right here, the only bit of trading that we've ever done on the price of Bitcoin is this little bit right here. And of course, if we zoom right back out on the chart, we have, um, come on, <laughs> what's going on here? Come on, zoom all the way out. It just doesn't want to load for whatever reason. Either way, we've done a little bit back in 2017 as well. So I apologize it didn't zoom out correctly. I wanted to show you basically what a divergence is and what we're looking at right now. Essentially, what we are looking at is this one right here where we've got falling price and rising RSI at the same time. You can see the rising RSI here from the bottom line is what we're looking at. And then the falling price right here. So on the daily, it's fundamentally, we don't look that bad. Um, although we are currently bearish on the daily MACD, but we could see a bit of a surge over Christmas. Basically, if Bitcoin is to break up $19,000 at some point soon, we'll see some very significant trading to the upside. But of course, nobody's watching this video to know what's going to happen in a week's time. You all want to know what's going to happen tomorrow so you can trade it. Now, of course, I am currently in some trades. So let me show you those trades right now. I covered off my long position yesterday with a short position. That didn't pay off particularly well. Uh, I took a, a loss on it straight away of $1, just basically out for evens and then left a tiny amount of it open. Currently $74 in a loss. I'm also $1,400 in a loss and having already taken $1,100 a loss on my Bitcoin long position. I'm not using 100x leverage. Uh, what am I actually using? Um... I don't know. But basically, my liquidation price on this is around $15,800. And at the point where Bitcoin is hitting that level, um, we've got bigger problems to worry about. Uh, being that this current position is $140,000 long position from $16,955, do I expect to make a significant profit from it? I honestly don't know. Um, I think, to be honest, I hedge on the side of the bulls right now. And let me explain why in just a second. Um, but this position yesterday was $4,000 in a loss. Today, it's only $1,400 in a loss. So I feel like I've made a bit of a profit there um, just from holding onto it and having steady hands throughout the course of yesterday's dip. I didn't really expect yesterday's dip would lead to further downside. Again, being somebody that really struggles with the idea that Bitcoin could go any lower than where it currently is. I think a lot of people right now are buying the dip. And we're actually seeing that uh, right now. So if I look at, uh, and I showed you this in yesterday's video, but just to give you a bit of an update on it, basically 50.14% of accounts right now are long on Bitcoin. And the biggest long accounts are on Bitfinex. Uh, Binance is majority short right now over the course of the past 24 hours. 
But for the bulk of these kind of exchanges, the majority of them are uh, like OKX, more long than short. Uh, if we look over here though, this is some more interesting data, Binance top trader long short ratio. The biggest and most successful traders on Binance are currently 66% long versus 33% short. And if you look at this candle right here, each one of these candles represents a 24 hour period. So we only need to look at these last candles right here. You can see that essentially uh, Bitcoin top trader long short ratio of the positions that have been opened over the past 24 hours. Again, hedge on the side of bullish being 51% of positions opened by top traders on Binance over the past 24 hour period have been long positions. Having said all of that, what are we expecting from the price of Bitcoin? Well, let me show you what I expect from the price of Bitcoin. If we go over to my one hour Bitcoin chart right here, you can see that basically Bitcoin is trading within this range very narrowly. We have very much struggled to break out of this range for an extended period of time. Now, basically Bitcoin has been trading ever since the 17th of December now in pretty much a straight line with one quick drop to the downside, faking out to the downside. What that gives me optimism for is in the past, when we've seen these kinds of fake outs, we then see a bullish rally on top as these Bollinger Bands that you can see on the screen start to expand. At the same time, the RSI did not top out. We hit this level of resistance here on the RSI, it's something that we've, it's been pretty contentious in the past, as you can see. Uh, but essentially, we hit this level of resistance, bounce to the downside, reset the indicator a little bit, and in theory, we should head back to the upside. When looking at the MACD, MACD is currently curling over tad bearish right now. Doesn't look amazing, but it's certainly not actually bearish at all. It just looks like it could go bearish fairly soon. So having said all of that, what are the price levels of which to watch on the price of Bitcoin right now? Well, the answer to that question would essentially be if Bitcoin is to break above uh, $17,000 is all it needs to do, really. A break above $17,000 would take us back up to around $17,600 to $17,700. And at the point whereby we're really starting to test that $18,000 level again, I'm starting to get ants in my pants feeling quite bullish. Later on today, you'll see a video that comes out on my main channel. Uh, that main channel discusses selling a very precious asset of mine. Um, so just, just watch that video when it comes out. It's a good one. And uh, yeah, on that note, guys, what are we expecting from Bitcoin? More sideways action, break above uh, $16,700, $16,800 should lead us significantly back to the upside. Not $16,000, sorry, $17,000. Um, and then to the downside, what we're looking for is a loss of this lower support level. And this lower support level is currently sitting somewhere around this $16,600 level. Um, but essentially, I'll be looking for, for this one right here. If we fail at this level right here, things are looking pretty nasty. And that will be at $16,500 level. So essentially, the same position as what we were yesterday with a fake out in between that basically was a liquidity grab. Uh, it doesn't particularly concern me at all. Um, but of course, if you are interested in seeing more of these videos, slap a like on this one, subscribe to the channel, turn on channel notifications. Don't forget, of course, if you are interested in trading, check out Bybit. You'll find a link for it in today's video description. Also, check out BitGet. I also do trade on BitGet. Just don't have a position open on the exchange right now. But if you sign up and make a deposit, then you can get massive deposit bonuses on both exchanges. Bybit is currently offering up to $30,000 uh, for if you deposit and then trade the bonus is related to the trading volume that you do in your first month so if you have high trading volume in your first month you can earn up to thirty thousand uh, dollars just from the trading volume alone so yeah check it all out links in today's video description have a great day everyone and i'll see you in the next video Bye.